everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and I've been installing Windows 10 on everything I can find, and I really wanted to find something with a kind of a slower processor to see exactly how it performs with uh, really low-end stuff. So I took out of mothballs here my Leva Mini X. I reviewed this back in March, so you can check out my review above. Uh, why I picked this one is that it's got pretty much the slowest processor of all of the low-end machines that I have. This is like a, I think it's an Intel Celeron 28, N2807 or an N2808. Uh, whatever it is, it's uh, rather slow as compared to some of the other Atom Bay Trail processors in the sense that it's only dual core uh, versus quad core. It's even slower than some of the dual core chips we're seeing on some of the Chromebooks and the HP Stream 11 and 13s and everything else. So it's really a good example of uh, what lower end hardware is going to do. What's neat about this device, and I covered this in my review, is that it's about $250 or so, uh, but you get the RAM and the storage built in. So it might be attractive to uh, some folks looking for something like that. But let's boot it up here and uh, see how fast Windows 10 comes up. And we'll let it kind of boot up here. We'll just take a second for it to get up and running. It does boot actually uh, similar to uh, how fast Windows 8.1 booted up. So a lot of the same things that make Windows 8 so speedy on low-end hardware uh, kind of continued here. And in fact, it actually feels a little bit snappier than it did before. So you can see we're already up. I'm going to log in real quick. We'll do a couple of little web browsing things. Then I'm going to do a comparison of the new Minecraft Windows 10 edition running on this hardware to the original that is running on Java. So here we are at the desktop. I'm just going to load up a couple of applications real quick. Maybe we'll hit the Edge browser up. Maybe we'll hit up the store as well. Load up a couple things here. And as you can see, things are pretty snappy. It really feels very nice. It doesn't feel any slower than uh, Windows 8 felt. So you really got a nice uh, feeling PC here. If, if anything, it actually feels a little bit snappier. And this might just be a perception thing, but uh, it does seem to work very, very nicely here, having multiple things running at the same time. Uh, this PC does have four gigs of RAM installed that we're also running with the 64-bit version of Windows on it. Uh, so uh, you know, keep those things in mind. But really, uh, this is very nice performance. And again, we're not getting any real noticeable performance penalty uh, for running Windows 10 versus 8. Uh, you can check out my review back from March where I do a lot of things in detail like I usually do with these reviews so you can get a feel for uh, how this computer normally functions. But uh, really, as a desktop computer here for 250 bucks out the door, uh, all the RAM and storage included, it does feel uh, very, very nice here as a low-end desktop computer. So now what we're going to do, though, uh, is load up Minecraft Windows 10 Edition and compare it to the uh, old Java version, which I'm going to run side by side. Now, one thing to keep in mind, though, is that the Windows 10 Edition of Minecraft only runs on 64-bit versions of Windows, and that is going to disqualify a lot of the stick PCs that we've looked at on the channel over the last couple of months because uh, those run the 32-bit version of Windows, and you can't install 64-bit Windows on a lot of those devices. Even though they have the right processor for 64-bit Windows, uh, the BIOS isn't compatible. Long story, but that's the ropes, unfortunately, with a lot of these low-end PCs. Uh, this one does happen to run the 64-bit version of Windows, so that's why we're trying it out. Uh, but if your device can run it, uh, you'll be able to get a feel for what kind of performance improvements you'll see with that Windows 10 edition versus the original. So let's get it going, and we'll check it out. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind. This is running as full screen as I can get it. I can't get rid of all the stuff on the top and the bottom of the screen. Uh, also keep in mind that I cannot get the frame rate to appear either. There's no debug mode that I can find uh, on this beta version of the Windows 10 Minecraft edition. I'm sure those things will come soon. But this is running really, really smoothly. I'm going to compare it uh, to how the original runs here. So you can see the original on the left. Uh, this is the new one on the right. Uh, very, very smooth on the new one here. And as you can see, even when things are popping in, it's really uh, drawing everything very smoothly. You can see the difference when you're running some native Windows code versus something that runs on Java. So I think if, you know, depending on what direction Microsoft plans to take Minecraft in, uh, this is a very nice experience for a $200 PC. This is remarkably good, actually. So really uh, neat improvement there. I'm just going to pop into the uh, screen here and just uh, increase the draw distance on this. So I'm going to go over here, uh, maybe bring the render distance all the way out to the right here. We'll let it redraw the screen uh, and head back in. We'll go back to the game here. And even with everything drawn out a lot further, you can see it is still much, much smoother than the original. Again, this is on the same hardware. I was running the original on Windows 10 also just a few minutes ago. So this is a real apples to apples kind of comparison. Same operating system, same hardware, uh, old Minecraft versus new Minecraft. And the new one is a lot smoother. And given that we are running Windows 10, we have some other stuff available. So we're going to pull up the game menu by hitting the Windows key and G. As you can see here, we also have the option to do some screen capturing. So let's do that real quick and see how 
uh, that impacts performance. So we'll start the capture and that does seem to slow it down a little bit here. So I, d I definitely was not expecting to see uh, great performance while we're capturing. So we're definitely gonna take a performance hit when we do a screen capture. So that's going to impact us a little bit there. I'll stop the uh, recording and I think we should see the frame rate return to normal and it looks like it does. So uh, definitely uh, screen capturing or doing things other than just playing the game are going to have some performance impact. Again, because we're not running with a very fast uh, processor in this little guy uh, and it's really not good for doing uh, capture as well as gameplay. But as you can see, once we turn that off, still very, very smooth and a really enjoyable experience overall. So that is Windows 10 running on more low-end hardware. This is probably the slowest processor I have in the arsenal at the moment, and it is running really nicely on here. No performance penalty that I can discern, at least from using the computer, uh, versus Windows 8, so that is a good thing. Uh, as you saw too, that beta version of Minecraft for Windows 10 runs exceptionally well on here, especially when you compare it to the old version. So really, I mean, remarkably good. Uh, so you will see how they develop that moving forward. The problem, of course, is that all the plugins and all the things that people are doing, all the mods on the original Minecraft are not compatible with this one at the moment, and it may not be ever. So we'll see how the community kind of reacts to this because um, you know, there's certainly a lot of investment uh, on the original version. It's going to be very hard to get people over to this one, but it runs so much better on uh, low-end hardware. So we'll see how things develop moving forward. Big question, though, is should you upgrade if you have low-end hardware? And I think the answer is yes if you're not happy with the Windows 8 interface. Uh, if you can live with it for another couple of weeks or months, I would say maybe just try to stick it out for a little bit longer. You're not going to see any real huge performance increases with the exception of what you just saw with that uh, Minecraft Windows 10 edition. Uh, and there's still some kinks to work out. I've had, a, you know, I've had a couple of things here and there, like with this one, when I installed Windows 10 on it, I had to go out and find the drivers for it. Not a hard thing to do, but it was an extra step. Things didn't get detected automatically like uh, you would like them to. So there are some little glitchy things that are still out there. And Microsoft is continually pushing down updates as uh, the days and weeks progress here. So if you can wait, wait. If you can't wait, there's definitely a way to get uh, Windows 10 on board and get that better user interface and of course that better Minecraft experience. But just remember that uh, Minecraft for Windows 10 requires the 64-bit version of Windows, which may not run on all of these low-end devices, especially those stick PCs like the Intel Compute Stick. If you got questions, leave them in the comments below. We might do some follow-up videos or just have some uh, conversations in the comment thread. And this is Lon Seib, and thanks for watching.